Hi, my name's Simon Hater, and today we're going to be exploring how to install uh, the Steam CMD dedicated server, which will allow you to run uh, your own dedicated server in Linux, uh, in this case Ubuntu, uh, which will, you'll be able to run games such as Counter-Strike 1.6, Counter-Strike Source, Day of Defeat, and all the other vast amount of games they run on the Steam CMD network. So uh, let's not waste any time. As you can see, I'm using Ubuntu 14.04 LTS codename Trusty. Um, it, this guide will work on 12.04, 11 uh, 11.04, 10.04 I think and so on. So it's it, I'm going to label the video 14.04 but if you haven't got that version then this should work uh, as well if it doesn't let us know in the comment and I can adjust uh, what I say and uh, what not so let's not waste any time let's jump straight in so as you can see I've logged into Ubuntu uh, the first thing we want to do is run sudo apt hyphen get update type in my password And let that, that do it. It's not actually updating. All that's doing is making sure it's got the latest re repository update. So uh, when you do run an update, it's getting the latest version. So as so to speak, it's not downloading any updates. It's just updating the library of the updates. But uh, anyway, that's now done. So the next command we want to do is... Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to make sure that you've got uh, everything I'm doing so I've done an upgrade previously but by all means do this uh, sudo apt hyphen get upgrade so you might have a vast amount of upgrades to do uh, just let it go it normally takes about five minutes now the next thing we need to install is a thing called lib32 gcc1 and another um, application called libc6 i386 now a lot of guides on the internet um, say to install ia32 lib um, do not install that there's absolutely no need it will just uh, bloat your um, Ubuntu up so don't install that all you need to do is sudo apt get uh, install lib32 gccc1 and then space lib c6 oh, lib c6 underscore oh, hyphen even i386 and what this does is allows us to run because the dedicated server um, supplied by steam is actually 32 bit so it's with Ubuntu server it's 64 bit so uh, when you run the sh file later on you'll get an uh, it'll say uh, do, does not recognize or something like that so if we install this we'll get rid of that error so let's install those okay fantastic that's done I'm gonna clear the screen keep it nice and tidy now the next thing we want to do is uh, sudo add user steam the reason we add a user is we don't really want to run um, Steam on a user within the sudo group which allows administration rights and we also don't want to do it on root so we're going to add a user and add a password you can even go one step further I won't cover it in my guide but you can also make sure that a Steam user can't log in via SSH and uh, FTP if need be but anyway so that's done when it asks for the full name you don't need to enter all that is this correct perfect so that's added let's clear that screen now what we want to do is log in via that user so SU Steam type in our password now as you can see, uh, see I'm still in the home directory of test which is another user account so I need to come out of that just do cd space uh, space dot dot so we go up a level do ls we can see steam so cd steam now what we want to do is make a folder um, so mkdir steam cmd now what we want to do is download 
the platform uh, Steam uh, CMD. So first of all, we need to go into our folder we just created. So Steam CMD. We want to type wget http dot dot forward straight forward straight media dot steam powered dot com forward stroke installer forward stroke steam cmd underscore linux dot tar dot gz hopefully i remembered that fantastic that's downloaded so if i do an ls yep we now see that folder uh file even so let's clear that now what we'd want to do is extract that uh zip file which is tar space hyphen xv zf space steam cmd underscore no what have i done there we go steam cmd underscore linux dot tar dot gz for it looked with so let's run that as you can see that extracted nice for nice and fine so let's do ls yep you can see so let's remove uh steam cmd now the the f just to keep it nice and tidy dot tar dot gz so rm will remove now what we want to do ls make sure that's removed let's clear it let's uh run the steam cmd so um dot forward stroke steam cmd dot sh that will download any updates it needs to do okay fantastic now you'll notice at the bottom here it hasn't actually um, it's now saying steam this is because we're now in the steam cmd console so we can do uh, some commands so the first thing we want to do is log in uh, type login space anonymous I believe some games do uh, require you to log in via uh, a proper authentication but the games will be adding do not so let's do that login anonymous and there we go connecting anonymously to the steam public successful so fantastic so what we want to do now is install the dedicated uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive dedicated server uh, for Linux. Uh, the way we do this, we need to first specify a directory for where our download is going to go. So we're going to go force underscore install underscore dir space dot forward stroke. Uh, you can name it anything you want. So I'm going to name it csgo. So csgo. Push enter. And now what we need to do is download the server side uh, uh, files for our dedicated server. So the way we do that is app underscore update space the ID of the application, which in this case uh, for global offensive it's 740 and space it and type validate so we can validate as we download. Now if you are in the data center um, hosting this then it will be uh, fast if you're uh, home broadband if you're using home broadband sorry and it's uh, quite slow then this process will take some time um, I've got 100 mbits it normally takes about 20 minutes uh, depending how fast um, uh, steam servers are going at uh, but I'm not gonna make you wait I'm gonna pause the video and resume when it's done so that download is now complete which was just over 7.3 uh, gigabytes uh, we now need to quit out a steam console so type quit uh, let's clear the screen keep it nice and clear and let's see what we've got so as you can see we've now got a CSGO file folder um, let's go into that because that is where the file we need to run so do an ls inside there now to run our server all we need to do is do a dot forward stroke sr SRCDS underscore run space hyphen game and we need to specify the game is CSGO which is Catastrophic uh, Global Offensive uh, space console space hyphen user com plus game type zero plus game mode zero 
plus map group. Now you can look uh, up these commands online. These are just uh, some ones I know off the top of my head. Map group underscore mg bomb plus map d dusk. So press enter. Hopefully that will run without any serious errors. And setting up your own configuration, you can um, find that on Google and specify your own. But as far as the server, the server is now running on the public IP address, as you can see. Uh, VAC secure mode is activated, and that is it. Your server is now running. Um, I'll briefly cover opening ports. Now the Steam dedicated server does use uh, some ports. Uh, Ubuntu. Uh, comes with the ports open so we don't need to worry about that if you're running it in the data center uh, you're pretty much good to go and have fun if you are running a home server um, and you do have a router such as a Netgear, D-Link, Buffalo, uh, BT Infinity, Home Hub etc we need to open those ports so the first thing we need to do is type in if config we can see that that is my internal IP address so I then want to head over to my um, browser and lo uh, log into the router, which I have done so. Um, now you're looking for something like NAT, or it might be in security, depending on what uh, brand of router you got. In this case, I'm using WDWRT, and what we want to find is port range forwarding. Now I've already entered this in which is Steam CMD. You can name it anything you want. Uh, not all routers allow you to name it. Um, some of them even have the profile uh, half-life, which uh, most of the times opens the necessary ports. So if you don't have that option, we want to open 27, uh, 27,000 to 27, uh, 27,040. Protocol both. And type in the IP address off the internal local machine. If you've got a checkbox, make sure you click it, click save, and click apply settings. After that, you should be ready to go and have fun. I hope you found this helpful. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.